All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, record collection. So we are creating a function that aids in the maintenance of a musical album collection. The collection is organized as an object that contains multiple albums, which are also objects. Each album is represented in the collection with a unique ID as the property name. Uh, within each album object, there are various properties describing information about the album. Not all albums have complete information. Okay. So the uh, update record function takes four arguments represented by the following function parameters, right? We've got records, which is an object containing several different, pardon me, several individual albums. And it's going to be this function right here. And so here's the records we're talking about right now. Uh, we've also got ID, a number representing the, pardon me, a number representing a specific album in the records object. So it's going to be this here. And it's going to be representing this stuff right here. And then uh, we also have prop, a string representing the name of the album's property to update. So we've got prop, which is going to be the whole property like this. And then we've got value, a string containing the information used to update the volumes, pardon me, the album's property. So it's going to be this value and it's going to be something like this right here, right? Uh, so we're going to complete the function using the rules below to modify the object passed to the function. Our function must always return the entire records object. All right. So we've already, pardon me, we've already got that taken care of with this return records right here. Uh, if prop isn't tracks and value isn't an empty string, pardon me. No, 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 no. If value is an empty string, we're going to delete the given prop property from the album. So like if it gives us something like this and then values empty instead of having ABBA or whatever in it, uh, we're just going to delete the whole thing. So if it w if this was like artist, pardon me, album title, and this was blank, we would just delete this whole thing right here. Uh, so also, if prop isn't tracks and value isn't and value isn't an empty string, we're going to assign the value to that album's prop. So if so, at this point, value isn't going to be an empty string no matter what. It's going to be full of something because we already checked the value. So Basically, we're just going to see if uh, there's something in here and it's not tracks. And we're not even going to see if there's something in here. We're just going to add something to it. Like uh, we'll add, I don't know. I don't even know, honestly. But whatever. Oh, like something to this one right here because there's nothing in it. No, that's tracks. Anyway, whatever. So we're going to take care of this one. I'll show you what we're going to do in a second. Uh, if props is tracks and value isn't an empty string, uh, we need to update the album's tracks array. So first we're going to see if the album does not have a tracks property. And if it doesn't, we're going to assign it an empty array. So we'll do something just like this right here. Uh, and then we'll add the value as the last item in the album's tracks array. So we would say something dot push like uh, tracks dot push for whatever the uh, value is. If it's tracks, it's, it's this is really confusing. Uh, anyway, a note, a copy of the record collection object is used for tests and we should not directly modify the record collection object. All right. So I say this is really confusing because it really is. Uh, I'd say this would be probably like 5Q, 6Q at the at the easiest when we if we went over to Code Wars. Uh, so basically, we've skipped like months of uh, of learning to get to this point months of practice and learning to get to this point, but no big deal. Let's just get through it, all right? Uh, so first things first, we're going to see if the value is an empty string and then delete the given property from the album if it is, all right? So we'll do that by saying if, and then we'll say if uh, value, and we could say equals empty string, but instead of that, we're just going to say uh, the not operator. So this basically, when we put the not operator in front of something, it basically says if this is not the case. So if this exists, but if this doesn't exist, all right? So so if value does not exist, what we're going to do is uh, delete the given prop from the album. So we're going to say delete with the delete keyword, and we're going to say uh, records. And then we're going to have inside of these brackets uh, ID, and then inside of these brackets, 
we're going to say prop like that. And basically we're using brackets because these are variables and these are not the actual names of the uh, properties or anything like that. So we've got that one taken care of. Let's do the second one. So a prop isn't tracks and value isn't an empty string. We're going to assign the value to that album's prop. So we'll do an else if, else if, because we've already uh, checked if value exists or not. Uh, so what we're going to do here is say if props prop is not tracks. All right. So if props isn't tracks, what we're going to do is say records at actually, let's just take this. Well, I'll take the rest of this. We'll take this right here, copy it, drop it off right there. And that now equals the value. All right. And so we've got that one taken care of. Let's do the next one. So if prop is tracks and value isn't an empty string, we need to update the album's tracks array. All right. So first, if the album does not have a tracks property, we're going to assign it an empty array. All right. So first things first, let's say else, because we've already taken care of the other two things. We'll say else. And then we'll have the curly braces like this. We're going to say uh, inside of this thing, we're going to check to see if the tracks property is there or not. So we'll say if, uh, and then we'll say, what do we say here? We'll say records, record at ID uh, dot has own property, has own property. Uh, and then we're gonna be searching for tracks so we'll search for tracks. Give me a second. All right. Tracks like this. And we could say equals empty string or equals nothing. But instead of that, we're just going to do like we did up here with a not operator. And we're going to say if it doesn't exist. So if uh, record ID has own property tracks isn't a thing. So if that's false, what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, records at ID. Whoops at id dot tracks dot give me a second dot tracks now equals uh an empty array so we'll have this empty array just like that so that cake takes care of this first sentence right here and uh let's get out of this actually this should have been uh no that's cool all right cool and so if that's not the case what we're going to do is say records. Actually, let's just take this thing right here. We'll take this right here. And we'll say dot push. Dot push. And inside of here, we'll put value. All right. And so that's going to add the value as the last item in the album's tracks arrays. All right. So that should take care of business. Uh, let's update. Let's uh, wrap this thing up right here in parentheses like this. Come to the front and say console.log. All right. And so we've got this right here. So what this is doing is updating uh, four, what, 5439 artist ABBA. So it's putting the artist, pardon me, artist on this one. So let's come down here. And where's ABBA, ABBA, ABBA? ABBA, artist, ABBA, just like that, right? So that looks pretty good. Uh, let's take away something. Let's take away album title, right? So let's say instead of artist, let's say album title. And let's make this nothing, all right? Let's take out this uh, comma right there, too. And you'll see album, album title, ABBA go. What? I'm album title. Okay, let's do this. Album title. Did that work? Okay, okay, cool. And so we see right here, it took that out, which uh, takes care of this one right here, all right? So let's uh, run the test. Oh my goodness. Records, okay, boom. Run the test, looks good, and submit it. 
All right, now we're on to iterate with JavaScript while loops, and we'll see you next time.